top of the morning, top of the morning, top of the morning, everybody. We back doing that thing they call trucking. So, before we get into this video, I'm gonna need y'all to hit that subscribe button. I'm gonna need y'all to hit it, press it, push it, tap it. Did you tap it? No, you gotta tap it harder than that. I, 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 I chill, chill before you break the button. Man, why are you pushing it so hard? I said you took out to tap it real lightly. You know what I mean? So, anyway, make sure that you turn your notification bells on to all so you be notified when I do shorts and videos and lives. So, today is August 22nd. We almost through the month. We on low number 10. Can y'all believe it? Low number 10. Doing flatbed, it's hot. I'm drink. I, I got my Propel water right here. This is this video is not sponsored by Propel, not at all. Got my Propel water. I got that kiwi strawberry. Yeah, tastes hella good. Mhm. Mm but anyway, I'm down here, and I'm picking up. So, uh, let me go on my app. So, I make sure I give y'all the right information. We are picking up metal plates. So, I don't know if I'm getting the round ones that they have here in the, in the, in the yard. Or these big square ones, but... I'm, I'm, I'm going to show y'all why they're putting it on my trailer. But I got to get out and go move my dunnage from the back of my trailer. Because, you know, low number nine, I had to put the dunnage back there. Because the units was at the bridge of the nose of the of my flatbed. So, now, it's a short run. We down here in Texas. We like south of Houston. So we got to run over to Eagle Pass, Eagle Pass, Texas, which is right on the border of the United States and Mexico. Like I could turn my head and look out my window and I can see the good folks of Mexico right across the water, right across the water. I could wave at them. They could say, oh, sinister. Yeah, we watch you. So. I'm sorry I'm drinking water in your face, but it's hot. So, we're supposed to be picking up two pieces. The width is 8.6, eight, eight, the height is 6 feet. So, I don't, I don't know. Let me roll my window down. What? Let me, let me show y'all what's up. So y'all see how those look? So I don't know if I'm getting the big ones or I'm gonna get those round, round ones. Right here, I don't know. And then, that's another ATS driver in the flatbed up there in the Volvo. So I'm sitting here just waiting for them to call me to let me know when to pull up where he's at. So, so this is low number 10 and I want to give a special thanks to everybody who's been coming through watching the videos dropping comments congratulating me on my new move and in, in trucking doing flatbed because you know like I told y'all I made this move because van and reefer is just lateral movement left and right ain't no growth there you know Unless you probably go get your own authority and your own truck and trailer and I don't want to do all that. I want to do something more. I want to, I want to do something more. So this is, in this part of trucking, there's great room for advancement. So that's what it is. So, but as soon as I, I got to tarp this load, I got to tarp this load. 
I know I got them tops on this load. So this is actually no low number 10 and my first top load. Cause you know, I've been Mr. Chain Game. You know what I mean? I've been almost everything I don't have was chains or straps or straps and chains. Chains and straps. What about my chains and my straps? My straps and my chains. I gotta keep that one in my mind. Straps and chains, chains and straps. My straps and my chains. <laughs> yeah, I gotta keep, I'm gonna play with that one. I'm gonna keep that in mind. So, um, let me see what the temperature is. All right, my dashboard said it's 94 degrees. Let me check the weather app. Yeah, today's high is 93. Right now it's at 86. And it and it feels like 94. The humidity is making it feel like it's 94. So it came down raining earlier this morning when I got up. After I did my pre-trip, so, so far so good, but hopefully it stay like that, so, but as soon as I get it on the trailer, once I get it on the, on the board, I got a tarp it, so, we're going to see how that goes, so. Alright. Alright y'all, so we got loaded, it's starting to pick up. It's starting to get windy. I feel a little bit of drops and this cloud over here. It's not looking looking trucker friendly right now. So I got boilers, but they're sealed off and closed. So I was fighting with all of this traffic in here because they was rushing me to, to move so they can unload a container trailer. So I had to slowly creep down here. So I stopped by that chassis, that chassis over there. And then I was in these people's way. I was in this guy's way. So, I'm getting the straps together. I'm putting more straps than this. I just need to get this tightened down because I still got to go back around the building to go get the paperwork way at the other end. So this one coil is 18,668 pounds. So I got to check my paperwork because inside the coil see it's sealed and they want this tarped so let me go to the back oh this breeze felt good this one is 18,428 pounds on this coil so this is how it was looking Got it centered. Well, they got it centered for me. That wood is, I don't know, just some cheap wood they got it sitting on. So. I might have to throw, I'm gonna throw some chains on here. I'm gonna get this strapped down so I can go ahead and I'm gonna get this taken care of because. They didn't say nothing about throwing a chain through here. And this would have been sealed, but it's coming off. So I'm going to fix that. All right. So let me see. Let me grab my phone. Let me see. Uh, 
Okay, so this one is 18,668. Let's go see what this one was again. Eighteen thousand four hundred and twenty-eight. So that's thirty-seven thousand nine hundred and ninety-six pounds. So yeah. All right. I don't know y'all can see it, but thirty-seven thousand nine hundred, not nine hundred, thirty-seven thousand ninety-six pounds both of these together so let me get this strap down do my numbers and figure out how i'm going to do this and i got to talk this too so i'll show y'all how this is going to turn out all right all right y'all so i got this little secured sorry about the wind is windy it need to be so can't run chains through this due to the fact like it's closed off like I showed y'all earlier but I'm gonna show y'all how I got everything secured the paperwork says one thing on the on the weight you know what I'm glad I said that let me go get the paperwork because I'm gonna double check something always always like even though they Sometimes the paperwork might be wrong on the weight. So, let's see. Let's go look. So what I did was, I threw straps. I threw four straps on it. I threw four straps on it. That's the coil you in there. So, I'll leave that there, but four straps. So, you know, each strap is 5,400. Okay, so. So look how they did this. So they're saying that the gross weight is 8,468 pounds, right? For the gross weight, right? But we go by the pounds. So look at this, 18,668. So, if you're not paying if you're not paying attention if you're not paying attention you you might secure it to the 8468 instead of the 18 18668 and then on the paperwork what it says 8468 so i'm not going i'm not going by that Let's go see what the back one is. I found me a spot to be able to do my tour. I'm out the way. Okay, so let's look at this one. This one on the paperwork says 8,359 pounds. Look, they're going by kg. We don't go by kg, we go by pounds. So technically, gross-wise, 18,420. So, yeah, we're not going by that. We don't do kg. We do uh, LBS, which is pounds. So, let me go get my strip, my tarp. I think I'm able to do two tarps, or well, I, I might be able to just cover this with one tarp. 
and now it's windy so we're gonna probably be out here i was fighting with the strap with the boot. so i see that's gonna be an issue in the winter time <laughs> that strap is blowing then you're trying to roll it up so but Okay, I gotta go in this, I gotta go in this, this cabinet here to get my, my black tarp. So, I'll show y'all what this tarp look like. This is my first tarp. This is my first tarp. This is low number 10. I'm hot. I'm ready, I'm ready to go grab me some food, but I gotta tarp this before I even leave. So, let me get this done, and I'll get back with y'all. Alright y'all, so, no, 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 I'm not done, but, y'all wanna see, man, listen, y'all know it's windy, right? Let me show y'all what my, my rookie, uh, I'm trying not to put the curse in there, but I want to put the curse in there, because I'm like, let me show you what my rookie ass done did. Right? I had my talk rolled up. You know, I'm like, okay, this is working, right? Till I realized that the damn D-rings is laying on top of the product. Now look at my rookie. Look, look, look. Now I have to unroll it and now I bungee it. I have to throw a bungee in here because, you know, the wind guards just decide on my first top load. Oh, no, we, oh, we gonna blow your, we gonna blow your shit all around. Right? Look at this fucking shit right here. Lord, man, this that bullshit. I'm sorry for the language, but look. Now I got to gradually work my way to pull it. Or maybe I unfold, I unroll it. But then the wind is blowing, so it's going to make it balloon up. So look, look, look at this. What the? F man, this load ain't getting near to tomorrow, man. This is that bullshit. Come on, man. That's some rookie shit for your ass, okay? This is some rookie shit for your ass. My first talk though, and the wind guards don't want to be in my favor. God, you know what? Whatever. 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 You can't make this trucking sh the trucker shit. You know what I mean? God damn it. Sorry to use your name and thing, Lord, but man, the trucking guards just, come on. I did good, I got my straps done, but you know what, I needed this experience. And you know what, it's all right. You gotta learn to laugh at your mistakes, cause see, you don't learn when everything is smooth. You learn when everything is hard, when you gotta challenge your mind. So now I gotta, I gotta figure out a way to get that tar over that, so. I'll show y'all what I, listen, I'm sinister, baby, okay? I'm sinister. I'm gonna figure this shit out. I'll get back with y'all. All right, y'all. I'm finally done. After. Several days later. So. Here's how my talk came out for the first time. Look like a rookie did it. Cause that's exactly what <laughs> it looked like. So this backside is more covered than the front. So I'm done. Let's go around this side, look at it. And this is my first set of coils, metal coils, and my first tarp. The coils is what the guy called it. 
top heavy. So they top they top heavy, so I gotta be careful with turning with them. So then it's my first time talking. So you know the wind is going towards the back of the trailer. So I gotta make sure. I had to make sure like I secured all that so the wind don't grab it. So this is my first, my first talk, my first, I can't even talk, I'm tired. My first talk, this is load number 10. It's on the skateboard. Now it's time for us to do what, y'all? It's time to skate. Let me put this call in. I'm loaded. I'm done. I already did the hike. Let's go. Truck stop. Here we go. Here we go. Here we come. Y'all know what I mean. What up? All right, y'all. So we finally made it down here. We in Eagle Pass, Texas, right along the Mexican border. Like, we're right there, right there. We up on the fence. You feel me? So, I made it here. This is low number 10, about to be in the books. Let me put my boots on. And they're gonna unload these two coils and we are gonna get on to the next one. Once we get the next one. So, I had to redo I had to redo my um my bungee cords because yesterday it looked like I lost two three bungee cords so I had to go tighten it up this morning which uh I took care of that I gotta put these oh if you ever go to Lowe's grab some of these if you're gonna get in the flatbed so when you kneel, when you got to get down on your knee, on the trailer, protect your knee. Because I'm telling you, that trailer is hard on the knees. So, we're going to get out there. We're getting ready to start. We're getting ready to commence the sweating. So, yeah. And I got to go take this tarp off. So, yeah, listen, it was hard for me to get up this morning. I was tired. So, let's go out here. I bought me a new pair of gloves. I bought some leather ones because these, these uh, housing gloves, I call them housing because that's what they use in New York City housing to clean, you know, so. I bought the le I bought these leather ones. They called oh boss. These is real good. So I'm sorry. I got the sun all in y'all face. So this is the place and everything like that. So they're gonna use that big forklift over there. So. We gotta do all the bungees. We gotta do all the bungees. So, but so far the front stayed up. This is a good job for a rookie. So, I'm watching videos on getting better with my tarping. So, this is how it looked. Could have been better back here, but it's fine. So that's how it's looking. Real good, real good, real good. Proud of myself, proud of myself. So, but I'm gonna get better with it. I gotta just do more so I can be ready for the winter. So, that's it. But let me get my stuff so I can go ahead, get this 
off me and we out of here. All right, y'all. Load is delivered successfully. Load number 10 is done in the books. We don't got no next load yet. Uh, my dispatcher had a load that was going from Laredo to Brooklyn, New York. And when I got here, I told him I'm not going into the city because I already know it's crazy up there. So they have you have a paper. They got a paper that asks you, do you do New York? Do you do New York City? I put nope. But she ain't know that. You know, that's one of them things that's that's a, about being here. It's a lot of things that could be better, but hey, every every company got is is on method of madness. So but this load is done. I'm wrapping this video up. Thank you everybody for watching. Leaving a comment. Hitting that subscribe button. Hitting that notification bell. Hitting that thumbs up. And this is load number 10. In the books. And we out of here. Better yet. It's time to skate. Peace.